Hi guys, I'm Mark from VPN Mentor. Welcome to our tutorial and review of BetterNet VPN. Today I will show you how to create an account and choose a pricing plan, how to set up their VPN application, I'll test the speed of their servers, try to access some geo-restricted content, and finally I'll contact their support to see how helpful they are. Hopefully all of this will save your time and help you come to a conclusion, is it worth it? So if you find our video helpful, please give us a like, share it, or leave some comments in the section below. Okay, so this is the BetterNet website. Let's do a quick roam around it to see what they're offering. As you see, the registration is not needed. That is excellent for privacy since there is no need to give out any personal information. It's totally free. However, they do have premium plans that are offering a bit more. We will check that out later. On the bottom of the page, you can select a different language if you find it easier. It's optimized for all platforms and devices. They also have a blog page where you can find various articles dedicated to modern technologies. They keep no logs and are not showing, as they say, irritating ads. Along their VPN application, they have a Never Ad application, which is basically an ad blocker for Safari browser. You can also find out more about how they are maintaining this idea of free VPN. Basically, they have established a model that works for them and claim that as long as it works, their service will remain free. Now, since the service is free, let's just go ahead and download the application. After you've installed it, if you want a premium plan, activate the 7 day trial. If you only wish to use their free service, simply skip this step. But before you proceed with that, I suggest you visit our coupon page where you can find good deals and coupons on VPN services. It is updated regularly so you can always find the best deal. Now back to BetterNet VPN. So this is the app. We'll take a quick look at what options are available. So here you can easily upgrade to premium, contact support or check out their privacy policy and frequently asked questions. Over here you can select your virtual location, the server you would like to use, but since we are currently on a free plan, it's not possible to do it. So when you click on a server, the app sends you to choose a premium pricing plan. If you want to use that feature, you gotta go premium and you can choose between one month, six months and uh, one year plan. And I'd just like to say that uh, I'm gonna go with one month plan for the purpose of this video, but if you're planning on using BetterNet services, I suggest going with six or 12 months since it is much cheaper. Now let's check if the application we downloaded is working. And it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna run some tests to make sure everything is working properly. One more thing, if you choose to go premium, know that credit card is the only possible payment method, which I find a bit inconvenient since they don't really provide privacy. First I'll test our local network for IP address. So I'll head down to VPN Mentor's IP info tool. And as you can see, we are in Serbia. Next I'll test the speed. And we have a connection with ping being 10 milliseconds. Download speed is 58.66 megabits per second. And upload is 3.92 megabits per second. Finally, I'm gonna head to Netflix and try to access some content that is not available in Serbia. I know the show Lost is restricted, so I'll type that. And it's not found. Now I'm gonna go back to their website to contact their support and ask them about unlocking the Netflix catalog. Response came after about an hour and a half, saying it depends on the content you want to watch. Since BetterNet's free plan is using only United States servers, it should be good enough for unlocking Netflix catalog. Since my account is now premium, I will be more specific and choose Atlanta, Georgia. Now I'm gonna connect and repeat the test. But before that I will clear cookies and other browsing data to make sure everything goes as planned. First let's see the details on our IP address. And here it is. So we are currently in Atlanta state of Georgia. This is good, let's see how fast this server is. Ok, so we have a ping of 187 milliseconds, download speed is 31.17 megabits per second and upload is 3.16 megabits per second. So that's a pretty fast server, I am pleased with the result. Here it is for the comparison. One thing to keep in mind is that connection is always going to be slower with VPN, sometimes more, sometimes less. I tested several servers but this one worked best for me. Now let's see if it's good with uh, bypassing Netflix blockade. 
I'll head to Netflix again and type Blast. And it's here. Let's see if it will play properly. It's working fine. Buffering pretty quick. I'd call it a success. It's working pretty good. Okay, so our work here is done. Time to unsubscribe. If you want to cancel your plan, you can do it before billing cycle starts. And after it starts, if you're not satisfied with the service, you can cancel it within 30 days and request a refund, but only if your data usage has not exceeded 50 megabytes. Now it seems that the only way to do that yourself is through Google Play Store or Apple Store on your Android or iOS device. On the other hand, you can always contact their support and ask them to do that for you, which is what I did. They responded after about 2 hours this time, confirming that my plan has been cancelled and no money was pulled from my credit card. If you need more information on BetterNet VPN, you can find it on VPN Mentor Review page. It contains a lot of details like rating, user and expert reviews, but also the possibility to compare VPN providers to help you find the best one for you. Well, that's it for this tutorial, now it's time for a summary. What I'd say is good about BetterNet VPN is that it's totally free, but has premium plan as an option, they have pretty fast servers, they're successfully bypassing geo restrictions even with free version and have very helpful support but it takes them a little while to respond. Now there are also some downsides like the lack of payment methods when you want to go premium, credit card is the only option and it's not the best one when it comes to privacy. Also it seems that their focus is mainly on mobile devices given that the subscription cancellation for any platform has to be done through Google Play Store or Apple Store. As for their application, it is so simple and basic that I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing. I guess it's kind of subjective depending on whether you're an experienced user or not, so I will leave that for you to decide. Well that's it, great job BetterNet VPN, thanks for your attention and if you appreciated our video, please give us a like, share it or leave some comments below.